Dipersilakan. Oke, okay. hello everyone. Um, so I am aware that we have audiences of diverse professional backgrounds here, um, and although this review article is fat science related, as my title suggests, um, I believe that everyone can benefit from this um, presentation. So next, please. So this is the content of my presentation for today. Next, please. So the first thing I would like to address is why acute pain management in cats is important. Next, please. So pain in cats are often overlooked. Um, a, study, a study done by Coleman and Slingsby in 2007 um, proved that uh, many uh, veterinarians overlooked um, pain assessment recognition and management. And this um, problem is more worse um, in cats than the dogs. And, Although uncontrolled acute pain is associated with, but not limited to, increased morbidity, reduced quality of life, and increased duration of hospitalization and its consequent healthcare cost. Next, please. So we are talking about feline welfare. So feline welfare is the co um, is um, the state where physical and mental well-being of the cats are fulfilled. So feline welfare enforcement at the clinic equals the fat staff responsibility. Next, please. So um, this is the pain pathway made simplistic. Next, please. So this is uh, how the cats and animals in general perceive pain. Next, please. And I would like to emphasize that pain and inflammation goes hand in hand. Pain arises uh, from potential or eventual tissue injury, and tissue injury will result uh, um, in inflammation. And inflammation arises, uh, will uh, give rise to pain sensation. Next, please. So, uh, next, please. Uh, I'm going to discuss the third part of our, my presentation about the pain assessments. So uh, we should uh, be aware that pain assessment goes beyond hands-on exams because pain is multidimensional. Um, Melzak and Casey uh, in 1968 um, in, um, pioneered that uh, pain has three dimensions, including sensory discriminative, affective motivational, and cognitive evaluative. So the sensory discriminative can be evaluated by hands-on feline-friendly examination that aids to determine um, both pain loc location and intensity. And for the affective motivational um, aspect, um, the unpleasantness experienced by the cat uh, can be uh, assessed by the use of pain metrology instruments. And also we have to uh, involve the owner because um, the owners are often more sensitive in changes in behaviors of their cats. Um, and for the third uh, aspect, cognitive evaluative is indeterminable because we couldn't evaluate uh, the cognitive alteration in cats when they are in pain. Next, please. So um, this has, these are the common behaviors of painful cats. However, please uh, do take note that these behaviors are non-specific. However, um, presence of more than one science of this behavior may indicate pain, which should become a tip of information for further evaluation. Next, please. So I'm going to discuss about three validated uh, feline-specific pain metrology um, instruments that can be used to aid um, a more subje um, objective um, assessment of pain. So uh, whichever tool is used, training of all veterinary staff is strongly advised. And for a pain assessment tool to be both validated and used, it needs to be valid so it can assess the parameters. So um, the parameters can distinguish between the painful and non-painful cats. So it needs it also needs to be reliable because um, it will be used repetitively um, and it should reproduce uh, the same, uh, more, more, more or less the same um, result. Next, please. 
So these are the three uh, metrology instruments that I have uh, mentioned before. There are three of them, which are um, UF EPS SF, Glasgow CMPSF, and the FGS, uh, with the abbreviation of those um, those abbreviation um, is on the screen. You can check it out. Next, please. So this is the UF, UF EPS SF. Uh, it is the only valid, uh, validated uh, pain instrument uh, that has several languages. So how to use this? So each subunit scores are going to be summed. Then evaluation starts by uh, observing the cat in relaxed position um, before you approach uh, to more intrusive or invasive uh, assessments such as palpation. And newer study indicated slightly variable integrated reliability based on level of experience. So I should I couldn't stress this enough that um, training is essential. So the cutoff value, uh, which is the statistically derived sum of all scored components that if reached or even surpassed, warrants the use of rescue or interventional analgesia. Um, is four uh, out of 12. False positive have been reported in cats receiving uh, ketamine-based anesthetic uh, procedure or protocol. Next, please. So the second um, pain measurement is the Glasgow CMPSF. It included facial components of pain. So it has also, uh, the study has also reported that um, the inclusion of facial components increased pain discriminatory ability among different observers. The second pain metrology instrument to be validated conducted in a more diverse clinical setting. The cutoff value is five out of 20 or above. And to use this um, pain assessment tool, each item is scored and then it's going to be summed, just as like the previous um, pain instrument. Um, the observation starts by not disturbing the cat first uh, before you approach the cat interest, uh, in a more intrusive assessment. Next, please. So the third uh, recent addition of pain assessment tool in cat is the feline grim grimace scale, which is used on daily basis in our clinic. So. Um, other grimace scales are available and have been validated for use in other species such as horse, rats, and rabbits. It also has an application uh, which can be used by non-fat users such as the clients themselves. Um, so the, the FGS focused on linear distances between specific facial landmarks, orbital tightening, and whisker position. However, please uh, do take note that brachycephalic breeds are confounding to be assessed by this metrology. And to use this uh, instrument, each feasible action unit is rated. And if the action unit is inconspicuous or uh, unappar inapparent, score is given zero. So the cutoff value for this um, pain instrument is four out of 10 or above. Next, please. Um, next, please. So this is an example of our cat. OK. Uh, that uh, he presented with um, hematuria. Um, the, uh, the first time he was presented on our at our clinic, uh, he, he scored 7 out of 10 based on our FGS evaluation. And after rescue analgesia, uh, the pain score has deduced to uh, 6 out of 10. Although uh, it's, it, is still, um, it is still considered that the, ca the cat is in pain, uh, we do see that uh, the use of our rescue analgesia based, based on this uh, assessment helps um, reduce the pain perceived by the cat. Next, please. And so this is the pain intervention, which I would not really dive into um, in more detail. Next, please. Um, the key points of pain management is both the fat staff and the client are on board in this endeavor. And preemptive, preemptive analgesia and multimodal um, pain management are strongly advised. Next, please. 
So these are the pharmacologic interventions, which I'm not going to uh, focus. Um, next, please. Next, please. Next, please. So I'm. Uh, this is uh, the non-drug interventions that you can uh, use or implement to maximize your pain, uh, your cat's comfort, to alleviate the pain. Okay. Okay. Next, please. So uh, that's all from me. Um, thank you for the time.